Oh, hey guys, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Rival NHL channel. It's Friday, so we get week two of our Clutch Moment event. With that being said, we also get four new MSPs. We get a Hughes, a Jenner, Barakovsky, and a Mark Stahl. So here in today's video, we're going to take a look at all of the Clutch Moment cards. We also got some good looking Prime Times, Hut Champion cards. More clutch moment cards here. A 94 overall Messier leading the charge out of this batch. A 93 Keith Primo, 92 Chris Letang. More clutch moment cards that did come out yesterday. We got a 95 pull in, 93 Taves, 92 DJ Yoshi. Prime times, 93 JT Miller and a 93 Verona. Milestone cards, we get a 93 Quinn Hughes. And for community requests, lots of good cards out today, guys. A 94 Newman and 93 Hextall there. 92 Landis Cog. 91 Barzi. As I mentioned, there were also Hut Champion cards, so three of them right here. You can build them, add an 87, and then you can go ahead and power them up to the 93 with Hut Champion collectibles. But we will go ahead and take a look at the Clutch Moment cards, take a look at the new Hut Champion cards, but really, really quick, because I think you guys should all go ahead and do this. I know I will, because it's worth it. Uh, go to Daily Challenges, March 7th until March 14th we have. Challenge 1 of 5, not a huge deal. 850 coins. 2, 950 coins. But then we get the challenge 3 of 5, in which you get 2 seasonal collectibles. You want to take advantage, guys. Go ahead and grind these out. They're only 1 minute. You get 3 seasonals for challenge 4 of 5. And then challenge 5 of 5, in which is 2 minutes uh, premium players pack. And then we go down to ultimate challenges. Again, want to do these. There's 3 of them. You get 1,000 coins there. Another 1,000 here with a random 85 to 87. So hopefully you can clutch up, get that 87. And then challenge three of three. You get a total of 3,000 coins with a power-up collectible pack. And we did get more clutch moment challenges. Group one already done. The new one, group two. You get coins there. More coins there. Challenge three of four, 450 coins with a seasonal and event collectible. And then challenge four of four, 475 coins with a three gold player pack and event collectible pack. All right, guys, the first cards we got to take a look at the new MSPs. Let's start with the 95. Overall, Barakovsky, he is 6'3", 209 pounds, a left-handed forward. He's got Spark, Distributor, or Buzzing. You can pair that up, Gladiator, Well-Rounded, Protector, and then Booming Shot. Now, we'll say Wheels combined with Elite Edges is a deadly combo. It really is. Close quarters, obviously. Fantastic for his shot. We take a look at his skating attributes. 94 is on acceleration and speed. 98 on the agility and that acceleration could. It could go up to a 96 or you do buzzing, put that speed up to a 95. Take a look at his shooting. He has a sniper, so elite attributes here. 96, 97 for his accuracy. 97 on the shot power. Hands also elite, man. A low attribute of a 97 hand eye. Everything else, a 90. Eight. Checking in defense, attributes do not slow down. These look pretty awesome as well. Keep in mind, this is without anything active, no synergies. Uh, 90 body check, 95 strength, 90 aggression, 96 awareness, 85 shot block with a 96 on the stick check. I think this looks like a fantastic card, guys. He has 63209 with very good skating, shooting, hands, all around. Great card. Next up, we take a look at Jack Hughes. Might be a popular one here. Young superstar in the league. 5'11", 175 pounds. He is a left-handed forward. He is a center, but probably better suited for that wing. He's got Spark, Distributor, and Flat of Zone. You can pair that up with Gladiator, Well-Rounded, Protector, and he has Thief. If you do put him at center, you can get that plus 3 on the face-off rating, putting him up to a 95. We take a look at his skating. 96 on the acceleration speed can go up to a 96. Agility is a maxed out 99. Shooting almost maxed out as well. 99s on accuracy for the slapper and wrister. 99 on the wrist shot power with a 98 on the slap shot power. However, that is with Thief active. Without it, it is a 96. We take a look at his hands without any synergies. Maxed out 99 all the way down. Checking and defense. Looking as so, he's got 99s on awareness and stick check. And then for his abilities, tape to tape, shock and awe, unstoppable force, elite edges with a zone ability of wheels so i was just saying on the burkovsky card uh wheels elite edges combined is fantastic a card like jack hughes you probably want the unstoppable force as well another new msp here in january five nine hundred and fifty seven pound forward another center here just like the jack hughes she is probably a little small for the center position but out on the wing uh she might be able to produce for you she's got wingman buzzing flat of zone distributor workhorse and spark and then thief 
So she's got a double skate synergy. Love that. Her skating attributes look insane. They really do. Acceleration and speed. Both a 96, 97 on the agility, 99 on the balance. Shot accuracy is there. 95, 96 for the accuracy. 89, 87 for that shot. Power hands. Low attribute of a 96. Everything else higher. Checking in defense. Wow. She is a power forward, so I shouldn't be surprised. But 99 on the body check. 97s for strength, aggression. 99 on the awareness, 95 shot block, 97 stick check, and if you do put her at the center spot, she does have a 96 face off. And then we take a look at her abilities, very good ones, close quarters, no contest, truculence, elite edges, and a zone ability of unstoppable force. And the last and final card, we get a Mark Stahl, left-handed defenseman, he is 6'4", 208 pounds, so great size there, buzzing, flat of zone, and wingman. You can pair that up with Distributor, Workhorse, or Sparks. So again, another double skate synergy. Love to see that. And then, he's also got Bombarded. For his abilities, Ice Pock, Tape to Tape, Stick him Up, Truculence, and a Zone Ability of Shutdown. So really, really, really good defensive abilities. Now, Mark Stahl is a defensive defenseman. So right away, checking defense. We'll take a look at that. Look at all those 99s on Body Check, Strength, Defensive awareness, shot block, and stick check, and then a 97 on that aggression. With him being a defensive defenseman, his hands will take a hit, but the skating, the shooting attributes, those look really good still. Now, outside of the Clutch Moment MSPs, guys, we got some really good-looking cards. 94 overall, Mark Messier, 6'1", 210 pounds. He's got buzzing in workhorse, so you'd love to see that. Make it snappy, crease crasher, and his zone ability, a born leader. Another great looking card here, but we can't spend too much time on all of these cards. So let's take a look at Keith Primo. Loved his 98 in NHL 22. He gets a 93 here today. 6'5", 220 pounds. He's got spark and buzzing. Close quarters, truculence, and his zone ability of big tipper. The big tip energy. You love to see it. We get a right-handed defenseman here. 92 overall, Chris Letang. Six foot nothing, 201 pounds. He's got light the lamp and distributor a superstar ability of elite edges i've always liked Latang in hockey ultimate team tj yoshi a right-handed forward we need more we need more really good right-handed forwards in this game six foot nothing 187 pounds he's got gladiator and dangle city puck on a string truculence and all alone for his zone ability we get a 91 overall left-handed forward six foot nothing 179 pounds light the lamp dangle city and wheels for an ability i just got interrupted my chicago bears any football fans out there chicago bears finally traded their number one pick and i'm happy with it anyways all right we carry on here 890 overall left-handed forward six foot 197 pound burrows he's got magician booming shot and a superstar ability of off the rush Next up we get an 89 koozie this might be a sneaky good card we'll take a look here he's got distributor and well-rounded Puck on a string for an ability. The reason I say that, I played with his base card, the 82. In the beginning of the year, for quite some time, he was on the team because he had flat a zone as well. And I liked him. I liked him a lot. 62207. Love that. This 89, his skating attributes look sick, man. 95 acceleration, 94 speed, and a 96 on the agility. We got four more clutch moment cards. A left-handed defenseman, six foot three. 240 pounds. That is an absolute tank. He's got Magician and Bombarded, 1T for an ability. With that size, I thought he might have, you know, 86, 87 acceleration and speed. No, 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 no. He's got 92 acceleration, 90 speed, 88 agility. What's slock in there? I guess his defense, only 87 awareness, 89 stick check, 90 shot block. Still though, man, 6'3", 240. He's got to play good D. We see another left-handed defenseman, 87 overall, Jonas Broden, 6'2", 196 pounds. He's got Protector and Gladiator, Ice Pock, for an ability. And then really quick, we got 285s. Quick look at them. Light like the lamp, buzzing, close quarters. Does have good skating attributes for an 85, I guess. And Kevin LeBanc here, 5'11", 185. Well-rounded, light the lamp, and unstoppable fours. All right, guys, so next in the video, we got to take a look at the Hut Champion cards. Now, if you do not know how to build these cards, you go to sets, go to Hut Champion sets. You then go to exclusive Hut Champion power-up player item sets. And I didn't really do these last year until the end of the year. I remember 98 
overall Keith Ollie was absolutely insane last year so some of these cards might be worth it so for these 87s you have to trade in two hut champion collectibles uh, for this one for example two of them you get 87 overall Josh Anderson and then once you go ahead and build that 87 you can then power them up with more hut champion collectibles so to go from his 87 to his 93 let's see how many it is we got two three four five six and nine so nine hut champion collectibles maybe a two-week project there to get them up to a 93 like i said nhl 22 i did like these cards but i did not build them until kind of the end of the year there so let's take a look at josh anderson he is six foot three 218 pounds he is a right-handed forward so it might be worth it for that reason alone uh you might need one he's got magician and dangle city Light the lamp and buzzing, and then he's got distributor. So double skate synergy, but only a plus one on acceleration and plus one on speed. For his abilities, unstoppable force. I love to see that. Close quarters, another good one there. No contest, maybe a little underrated this year. I, I've tried it out a couple times. I do like it. And a zone ability of truculence. Now, Josh Anderson is a power forward, so checking and defensive attributes do look very good. I do wish his acceleration and speed, you know, went up a little higher, but 6.3218 with the 92s there, he should be a pretty solid card. Would I go ahead and, and use Hut Champion Collectibles for this card? I would say no. Another new Hut Champion card here in Marcel Nobles. He is 6'3", 205 pounds. He's got Thief and Hard and Soul. Applesauce and Gladiator and Distributor. Now he is 6'3", 205 pounds, so he can play that center position. He's also got a 99 face-off rating with a zone ability of Quick Draw. Don't think you need the Quick Draw if his, if his face-off's already a 99. He's also got Big Tipper, Unstoppable Force, and Third Eye. Another card here who, who does look pretty good, honestly. He does. 6'3", 205. Love that. But the skating attributes... What do we got here? I mean, we got 91s on Acceleration and Speed. And Acceleration could go up to a 92. Agility a 98, which I love. But just spending that many Hut Champion collectibles for a guy who goes 92 Acceleration, 91 Speed. Eh, not a big fan. Not a big fan. Especially with 95 overall MSPs out. 96 is out probably pretty soon, right? So to spend all these Hut Champion collectibles, probably a two-week project. Uh, just don't think it's a great idea, but... We get a left-handed defenseman in Owen Pickering. Six foot four, 185 pounds. He's got Gladiator and Distributor. Applesauce, Bombarded, and Wingman. For his ability, Shutdown, Wheels, Elite Edges, and a Zone Ability of 1T. So you'd like to see the Shutdown because he is a defenseman. And then Wheels and Elite Edges, love those. Now, of the three, I think this might be my favorite. I wish he had a different Zone Ability, but we take a look at his attributes 92 on acceleration 93 speed a maxed out 99 agility maxed out shot power what else we got here hands looking all right 96 on the passing 92 puck control checking in defense we got 95s on body check strength aggression 94 awareness 99 shot block with a 98 on the stick check again a lot of hut champion collectibles but of the three that were released today, I think Owen is probably my favorite. All right, guys, those are all of the new clutch moment cards, the challenges, the hut champion cards. Just a reminder, prime times, we just, we don't have time to take a look at all of these cards because that would be a long video. But milestone cards as well, 93 Quinn Hughes, probably a pretty good looking card. All right, guys, we're going to end the video with some unopened packs. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up. Always helps out the channel, helps out the videos a ton when you guys do that. So if you enjoyed, consider it. Drop a comment below, subscribe if you are new, and we're we're ending the video with a couple of packs here. Nothing too crazy. Maybe we get something in the NHL players pack, but this one only a two gold. We move on to the premium two gold player pack. Give me something special in the outro. Come on. Now we get two NHL player packs. We'll do we'll do the untradeable. This is the alternate account I switched over to, so give me a couple NHL player packs here. And let's do a reveal all on it. Trash. And the last and final pack, NHL players pack, a tradable. So anything big time we get, we can go ahead and sell for big time coinage. Again, hope you guys enjoyed. Smash that thumbs up, drop a comment below, subscribe if you are new. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.